so you can really see the sky. Take care, Trigger. When you get back, let me know what you saw. Let me see that. Trigger, wish I could have flown with you. I think a plane and an injured pilot would only slow you down. I feel for it now. Take care. Whatever happens, stand here. They'll come closely up to him. So, oh, this is the guy. Oh, yeah. He's the one who took off just now. Weaponry. 
It's definitely the most intense thing I've ever been in. I can't wait to tell my son about it. The space elevator is just powered up. Looks like we made it in just a nick of time. Fortunately, you've provided data that may have included Trigger's flying style from waking. I've got a special bottle of wine for occasions like this. What do you say we open it? Can you hear me? There's still one drone left. What the hell is that? More importantly, I thought Trigger destroyed all the drones. It's thrown away its wings, yet it's still flying. Can anyone hear me? That aircraft needs to be taken care of. She's right. I see something on the radar. The UNV is alive and kicking. The UAV went into the undersea tunnel. That tunnel leads to the space elevator. Trigger, you're gonna have to fly into the tunnel after the UAV. Where's the escape vector? There's enough space for him to turn beneath the elevator. That's a suicide mission! Count, where are you going? We rely on Trigger too much. He's gonna need help. You can't be serious, Count. Yeah, well, you had no problem with Trigger doing the same thing. Trigger's different. We'll see. You damn fool. Count, give me your status. Alive. Excellent, so you're both okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What makes you think that? No time to explain. The radio will cut out soon. It'll take a short time for the drone to send over the data. You need to destroy it as fast as you can.
to wait until I have less fuel, but I have no choice. Attempting to land. I don't think my plane will make it. Anyway, here goes. Come on, baby, stay with me just a bit more. Strider 1 has returned to radar. I did it! That's our trigger! This is Dan Hero! <laughs> no doubt. You're better than me. Here's Strider 2. Damn it. Does anyone have eyes on count? Wish y'all could have seen that. <laughs> you damn fool. What's your position? Watching Trigger climb. I guess it's my fate to watch from down below. Well, we're all in the same boat there. Yeah, well, I guess we are. We're sending help. Give us your coordinates. Directly under the space elevator. Elevation is minus 500 meters. Minus? Hey, Trigger. You dumbass. Tell me something. What color's the sky up there? I can't tell you how proud I am to be the first to land at Wait, this Wait, what was that port. transmission? This is Captain K. Nagase of the Spaceship Pilgrim One. The ocean of stars in our galaxy is finally within our reach. To the pilot who generously gave this spaceship a place to dock, we are forever grateful. The universe lies ahead of us, waiting to be discovered. And now, at last, we have a gateway to ascend to it, over and over again. It's all coming together for me. Today was the day, the moment of her return. I salute the pilot who gave us all a future. unknown. The path to mankind's vast future remains standing, Grandad. The refugees built the settlement for themselves at the base of the space elevator. A humanitarian mission from Yuktuvania airdropped some supplies for them again today. Thanks to the princess, the whole world was pitching in to help these people. Handing out the relief supplies would have been a perfect gig for that anarchist dude. But since he's dead now, the job went to the guy from Belka, George. I guess Tabloid got that new system he wanted in the end. Mihai's granddaughters are helping out too. Mihai. That cranky old geezer's here with us, too. I never wanted to create anything, and now here I am, clinging to life. Watching as my grandchildren and their generation make a new future for themselves and the world. Is this my punishment, then? All I do is lie here, wasting away. I'll never know the freedom of flying the open skies ever again. I've been grounded, and my wings have been clipped. You know what having peace in the world means? It's being able to die in your own bed at a ripe old age. Peace is what those girls are working so hard for here. We got a bunch more refugees today. And the princess? She's looking to the stars. dark blue, to the heavens and beyond.
Can you hear me? Tu t'en souviens de nos fleurs préférées qui chantaient tout près de nous du jour de ta déclaration d'amour. Et pour 